uh, I also have to ask you about the worst decisions because there are a, there are also decisions that uh, you won't necessarily regret, but uh, mm -hmm. maybe you would have done something um, differently, if you know what I mean. Uh, do you have yeah. anything uh, regarding that situation, like a negative yeah. thing that you <laughs> might have done a bit different? Yeah, um, I think um, some things I would have done differently would have been um, just uh, uh, spending more time, like, you know, uh, so I, I so I've, I've always been, you know, labbing, but I, I, I wish I started doing labs way earlier, like in okay. my in my journey. Um, I wish I started I, I wish I started reading more books way earlier, both like, you know, self-developing books and cybersecurity books, because um, I think we tend to like neglect books a lot. Like we focus a lot of like courses and certifications, but like books are extremely valuable when it comes to like cybersecurity yeah. um, tech in general as well. So I, I wish I had started like, you know, reading more books and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And also I another thing is like, although I'm in, I'm in cloud now, I wish I'd got into cloud way earlier. I wish okay. I had started like, I wish I'd like, like way earlier, like maybe like this time last year, like I was really like studying cloud stuff. Uh, I would have been so much more ahead. Um, but you know, I don't, I don't really regret any of those decisions, but those were just things that I wish that uh, I might've started earlier or like uh, done differently. But um, in, in general, I think I've, I've made pretty good decisions like in, you know, most of my, my, my career so far. Yeah, I get it. And when it comes to books, I 100% agree with you. I love reading books and learning from books because first of all, they provide you with off screen time. And that's yes. very good if you're spending like 16 hours a day looking at the monitor. Um, mm -hmm. And then what I also think is that people have this idea that if they try to learn from a book, they will fall asleep. And maybe you will for the first 10 minutes, for the first 10 pages, for the first day, for mm -hmm. the first week. But it's mm -hmm. actually something you learn. Um, uh, that enjoyment is something that you learn, like getting knowledge from a book, actually having stuff like happening on your head while you're reading. That's that's yes. like you can't uh, transfer that to another person. Like he has yes. to experience that feeling. And that's something I really got late as well. Um, the last years I've been enjoying a lot more my reading time. Um, mm -hmm. One thing that, would, that I would add is that Sometimes we get this feeling that, oh, I should have started earlier. Um, like mm -hmm. I, when I was a teenager, I, I was attending this uh, jazz school of music and I studied uh, jazz and jazz drumming in particular for six years. Mm -hmm. And today I'm like, why the heck was I there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and, yeah. I, and I love music and I and I play and I play on, on my church and like, um, mm -hmm. I mean, music is part of my life. I mean, I have a Nord over here, and yeah, you know same. what you, you know what a Nord keyboard is, like. Yes, 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 <laughs> um, I do. Yeah, and and I I know you play synthesizers and stuff and keyboards as yeah. well, so great. Mm -hmm. But uh, you see what I mean? Like I I always look back and I think, and now look at this sixteen year olds like breaking into cybersecurity with like not even beard on their face, and they already have an OSCP certification, and but. What I realized is that, and to conclude, is that, well, th that those things that you did on the past have a, a direct effect on what you are today, and you are yes. benefiting. You you are benefiting for from it without even knowing. Mm -hmm. um, and something that I uh, I'm aware of it is my social skills are uh, good because of the many concerts I played live, uh, those uh, auditions that I had to do, like facing these um, pressure experiences and that really helped me uh, to, to be here. Now when I go to an interview, I'm not nervous, for example, mm -hmm. and I know a lot of brilliant dudes, like technically brilliant, that can't even talk to a client because they get nervous, yeah. they try to explain everything very fast, and since mm -hmm. everything is obvious on their heads, they are trying to... Yeah. Um, process that idea and to explain using words that the other the other person will understand and that's not working mm -hmm. because they are nervous and they don't know how to behave uh, when it comes yeah. to social interactions and so yeah well as joe rogan says and he said this and i and i and i hear that and i was like oh that makes a lot of sense he said something um like well when people say i should have started earlier i respond well but you didn't so what now? 
<laughs> yeah, what now? What you're going to do about it? Just start today. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yes. that would be the thing that I would add. So don't feel bad if you like feel like you're um, late to the party. Just start today. And just like you said, um, a guy mm -hmm. who is motivated and consistent can like build um, like a first opportunity in this area in three months just yes you just have to 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 be willing to put in the effort and have those four things you just mentioned consistency yeah find a mentor uh do your network because no one will give you an opportunity if they don't know you exist and be honest yes. <laughs> i think that's it um mm -hmm. do you have anything that you want to add or anything you want to expand on i just have one more question no. for you yeah, sure. I mean, like, I just, just to add to, like, you know, what you said, like, you know, it's like, it's never too late. Like, yeah. I started when I was, I was 18, I'm currently 20. And like, sometimes I think I'm like, oh, maybe I started, like, I should have started, like, when I was like 16, I so when I was like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it's like, wait, there are people out here who are like 30, 40, who have not even gone into cybersecurity, but like, they're going to eventually get it and you're going to make great careers out of it. Absolutely. So like, like you said, like, you know, you did start early, you know, so what are you going to do about it? Like, you know, just, just do it now. And like, you know, yeah. um, I think uh, another thing is also not comparing yourself to people because mm -hmm. like we, we are, we are so different yeah. and we have our different journeys. We have our different purposes here. And as long as we're living in, in our purpose, then like, you know, everything else, you know, is, you know, is secondary. Like we don't have to care about somebody else's cause that's the, your, that person's purpose was to do that at 16 yeah. and that's great for them. Like if your purpose is to do it at 50, like, that's totally great for you. Absolutely. So just, you know, living in your purpose and like just, um, uh, yeah, focusing on that, um, your journey. And yeah. That's, yeah, that's just to add to what you said. That's very funny just to just to finish this topic because um, I, I said to you that I helped two friends of mine getting their first opportunities in cybersecurity and they are completely the opposite. Like this first guy <laughs> had like 18 years or something like that and, and he was finishing his college, um, his university degree. So he was mm -hmm. uh, majoring uh, in IT. Uh, and so he was at the perfect stage to start early to get like yes. his security plus certification and already getting his first like internship in cybersecurity and just start from the bat and already working in the field. Now, the second guy was 30 years old and he was working um, already 10 years in marketing. So not even in it if if you know mm -hmm. what i mean so he yeah. he got his first opportunity in cybersecurity uh within the first year of working studying mm -hmm. putting all-nighters and he made it so yeah you're never late just to just to finish Absolutely. on what you what you said yeah.